How you doing guys? This is a audio fix and a resolution fix to Battlefield Vietnam game that came out in 2004 by EA Games. This is to uh, really gonna improve the graphics. Yeah. Anybody that saw my previous video concerning the Medal of Honor Allied Assault series, then you're definitely gonna love this. And if you haven't seen that previous video, no worries, I'm gonna walk you through it. You're going to love Battlefield Vietnam more than you ever did before. First things first, I'm running Windows 7 Enterprise 64-bit. I've got a NVIDIA GTX 560 graphics card, 6 gigs of RAM, and I'm running the AMD Athlon 4-core processor at 3 gigahertz. Now what you're going to do is go to your shortcut, right-click it, go to Properties, Compatibility, Run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 98 and Windows ME. Select it, hit apply, hit OK, done deal. That's what's going to fix the audio issues that most people have when running Windows Vista, Windows 7, and uh, certain audio files in the game don't run or don't load uh, during gameplay. Next, you're going to go to My Computer, go to your local disk or wherever you have the game located. I have it located in local disk, so that means it's going to show up in program files, EA games, Battlefield Vietnam, mods, BF Vietnam, settings, and profiles. You're going to have to do this process three times because it's going to have your default, your custom folder, and whatever your screen name is that's going to show up on the top. Let's go to your default folder. Go to video.con file, open it up. See these values here? This originally says 1400 megahertz. I just doubled it. Just for the sake of letting the game know that, hey, I have a really awesome system and I don't want you to have any type of low ceiling. So feel free to stretch out your arms, spread your wings, and take off with the game. Obviously, I have a stronger processor than that, but just to play game things safe, I set it to 2400 megahertz. Game display mode. Originally, this is set to 800 by 600 at 32 bit color, and it says zero. This last number value has to do with the refresh rate for the graphics display. This is my desktop resolution. I set it to 60 hertz. Go to File, hit Save, Exit. Right click, go to Properties check read only apply OK next item same thing 2400 megahertz set your desktop native resolution set it to 60 hertz file save exit right click properties read only OK now the reason why I'm telling you to do the read only option and to save it like that is so the game doesn't change the values in these two um, configuration files when you're running the game because you know by accident you might tap into you might click settings or something and you may click save because you wanted to change something else this is going to prevent the game from changing the resolution values or the color values or the refresh rate value of the game go to your next folder custom open up video oh shit it looks a little bit different don't worry it's pretty much the same information Set game display mode, set your native desktop resolution, put in 60 hertz, file, save, exit, right click, properties, read only, apply, OK. Video custom, 19, you know, desktop resolution, that's native, set in your hertz for the refresh rate, do it a second time for this file. Same values, put everything in the exact same way you see it. If it says 800 by 600 by 16 bit color and 0 hertz, just change the values. Don't add any extra characters, don't put letters in there, nothing. Just put in, in the same exact spaces the numbers that you prefer to your resolution to be at. Hit file, hit save, exit. Right click, properties, read only, apply, OK. And you're going to do that again, same exact process with the last folder and you should be good to go.
matter of fact, look at this. I'm glad I'm got doing this video because I made a mistake. 1920, 1080, 32, 60 hertz. File, save. It's only asking me this pop-up window because I did that, uh, hit the read only thing so in this case just uncheck read only hit apply open it back up change the value 1080 60 Hertz double check everything's peachy file save exit properties read only apply and that's that. That's the resolution fix, color fix, just in case, you know, maybe that value is a little effed up, and your uh, refresher rate fix. And that's really, really going to change the way you see the game and view everything. Matter of fact, being that the refresher rate is at an actual value now, and it's set, the response time between your keyboard, mouse, and the game should be a bit faster. Last but not least. Well, tongue twister. Last but not least. You can either do this through your global settings or your program settings. I prefer to do it through program settings only because my global settings are set because most of my games are pretty recent. Program settings. You should be able to find your Battlefield Vietnam program in here. Set this filtering. Anisotrophic filtering. Set it to 4. Hell, set it to 16 if you want to. Just make sure you have it at 4 or higher, or else you're not going to notice a difference. Anti-aliasing, 4 or higher if you want. Texture filtering, negative LOD bias. Set it to clamp. This is going to increase the texture quality. For more recent games, you probably don't need it, but since this is an older game, why not? Throw it up there. You'll notice a difference once you get the game up and running. And that's pretty much it. Anything else you have set here, it's up to you or, you know, the preference of what hardware you got. Uh, vertical synchronization, I would suggest you leave that off. And I mean that for all types of games, you should leave it off unless you notice that there's flickering on the screen. That's the only time you should turn it on. The reason why I say this is because if you have vertical synchronization on when you don't need it, your frame rate is probably going to drop like 15 frames. No matter what crazy system you have, you have some type of beast of a computer, it's still going to lower the frame rate if you don't need it. If you do need it, throw it on and you'll notice that the flickering goes away. And usually it won't mess with the frame rates. And that's the end of the video. If you get confused at all, I don't know why you should, but if you do, just send me a message, leave a comment, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. I still play the game. There's quite some people that do. Uh, yeah, have fun, enjoy your game, it, uh, it looks better with the awesome graphics. FYI, make sure you have both patches for Battle for Vietnam. A lot of people forget that there was two patches released besides the World War II mod. There's your Battle for Vietnam 1.2 patch, and then there's the 1.2 to 1.21 incremental patch. The 1.2 patch is the biggest one that does a lot of fixes for the game. It's just under 300 megs. And the incremental patch that does a few fixes here and there, mainly for like server reasons or playing online, it's only 10 megs. You can still find these files online. Just Google it and you'll be able to pick it up. But make sure you have both of them. Now that's the end of the video. Cheers.